My name is Ann, and today is going to be a very interesting video for you today because today I'm going to show you how to install Linux OS 15.1 based on Android 8.1 for the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. So you all know the, the Galaxy J7 2016, it's um, one of the phones that appear a lot in our, in our channel. Um, but I haven't done, but you know, the hardware is pretty good and, and everything like that. But the software is, you know, it's not bad, but some people would not, well, you know, uh, prefer uh, the Samsung experience and instead they want to go stock Android and something like that. And um, the, best, the best way to replace that with stock Android is a custom ROM. And uh, one of the ROMs I'm going to be, I'm gonna be introdu introducing you today is uh, Lineage OS 15.1. Now, yes, there hasn't been Android 9.0 Pi ROM for the J7 yet. Um, and keep in mind that this ROM is unofficial and still has a couple of bugs. Uh, but if you want to get yourself stock Android on the J7 2016, this is the right video for you. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so here are the first things you need to do. And uh, you need to download a couple of things first. Uh, you need the ROM, the G apps, uh, the recovery file, the EDB files, and of course you need some time and patience. Now all of these things will be in the description down below. So if you are, if you want those links, I will put them down there. Um, the next thing is you need to uh, go to your Galaxy J7, and you need to go to the settings of the phone. Uh, you need to tap on about phone, on software information, and you need to scroll all the way down until you see the build number. As you can see, we have the build number here. And you need to tap on this build number seven times, right? So seven, if you tap on seven times, it will enable developer, developer mode. So go out and you will see a developer options right down here, right? You need to tap on developer options. And you, get, you need to enable two things. The first is OEM unlocked, all right? So OEM unlock and USB debugging, all right? In this case, I already enabled that. So make sure those two are enabled and you are good to go. Uh, and the last but not least, since this thing is flashing ROMs and stuff like that, this is gonna wipe up all of your data. So one of the most important steps here is to wipe, is to back up all your data. Right? You don't want to lose your photos, you don't want to lose your videos, you don't want to lose your data, you know, your, your apps and games. You, know, you want to save them, right? So you have to back up them all. You can use your Google Photos or Google Drive or you know any backup uh, programs on your PC that might you know interest you, and you can do that uh, um, before uh, proceeding. Okay, so now we need to transfer two files to your phone. Uh, you can you need to transfer the ROM and the G apps to your SD card. Um, now you you can you you can transfer it to your internal internal storage or you can use uh, an SD card to do that. All right, so you need to go ahead and so you just need to pop the back on the J7, and you need to uh, insert this uh, SD card into this little tray over here. As you can see, and you you need some confirmation. Uh, picture uh, confirmation on your phone that it's been connected. Let's see. All right. Um. So now, uh, you need to plug your phone into your PC. All right. So you need to um, connect that. So you need a USB cable, plug into your computer, and, uh, and the other end, plug into your J7. So, plug in it. Alright, so your computer will pop up, will have a little pop-up saying your device has been connected. Um, now you need to, uh, there's a card right here, there's a card, a uh, little option here that says card. I need to focus a little bit. Yeah, there's the card over here, you, you can see. All right, you need to go to the card. All right, and um, now you need to transfer the files to your 
uh, PC. Okay, so just uh, wait a moment there. So we have uh, two files, right? So you can see we have two files, um, the, the, the G apps and the Linux OS 15.1 ROM, right? All you have to do is to transfer these two files to SD card and you're good to go. So drag in here and don't unplug your device during this process. Right, so the files have been transferred, and that's pretty much um, it for it's in, so for the connecting. You need to, so you just go ahead and unplug uh, your device uh, your device from the computer, and then you can then, then we will proceed. All right, so the next step is to flash the recovery. <coughs> so in this case, uh, the recovery file will be uh, twrp or Tim Win Recovery Project. So um, the first thing on your phone is you need to power it off, all right? So power it off your phone. So uh, make sure that your phone is uh, above fifty percent for this pr procedure because you don't want your phone to r run out of battery uh, while doing these uh, steps. So you need to power off your phone, and then you got, you need to do the following things to enter the download mode. All right, we need to go to the download mode in order to flash. The recovery. So uh, press these three buttons uh, pretty much simultaneously. Uh, press, press the three buttons at the same time, right? Power, uh, volume down button, uh, the home button, and the power button, right? So press these three buttons again volume down, the, the power button, and the home button, all right? Press these three at the same time, right? One, two, three. Alright, so it will have this uh, blue screen here uh, telling you that uh, if you want to go to the download mode. And in this case, you need you want to continue, so you want to press the volume up. And there we go, we are in uh, the, the, the download mode. Now you need to connect your computer to the, uh, to the phone once again. Alright, so you, once you have connected the phone, you need to open uh, this uh, program called Odin. Um, uh, oh, again, I will put the, the link to the Odin uh, down below in the description, right? So um, I just forgot to mention that uh, earlier. But uh, essentially, we are in, uh, we need to open up the Odin file. Uh, it, can, it can be either version from 3.13, 3.12, whatever you want to uh, use. And you want to open the Odin. And then you, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your phone is connected. So you ha you make sure that this the box here is checked and says zero com five. All right, you need to make sure it says that com something. I remember, but uh, if if there is a little box that says something on this here, it, it means that your phones have your phone has been connected to your computer and is ready to flash. All right, you need to click on AP option the second option here and you need to select the recovery file that we need to flash in this case it is twrp 3.2.1 point all right uh, of course again the link will be down below and you need to click on open all right so click open um and then you are just pretty much good to go you click on start Alright, so it is done. It is all right. It's now we need to enter the recovery mode, and um, in order to go to recovery mode, you still need to press three buttons at the same time. But instead of the de but instead of the volume down button, you need to press the volume up button. All right. So again, volume up, power home. All right. Not volume down this time. Volume up. So press volume up, home, and the power button at the same time. Again, three, two, one. And you need to keep pressing until it goes to recovery mode. So here we are in the uh, recovery screen. And it's a little bright, so I, I cannot really show you here. But uh, essentially, in the screen, you need to uh, tap on Never Show the Screen to Reboot again. 
and you need to swipe to allow modification. All right, so this is a uh, hard to see, but there we go. Swipe to out to allow modification. You swipe like this, and you're in. Now you need to do this step, all right, because if you don't, your 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 system will automatically flash the the start recovery every time you reboot. All right, you need to do that. So we're in this uh, screen, this, this 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 recovery screen. And you need to do is you can actually wipe the data on your phone and then um, uh, flash the ROM. So tab and flight, uh, flash, uh, wiping the storage. And now you can actually uh, install the flash and install the ROM. All right. So you need to tab again. Uh, there are two files. So you just added two files that you just added into the SD card. Uh, again, the, uh, the 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 directory is external SD, and select. The Lynch OS 15.1 ROM and tap on swipe to confirm flash. And now it will flash, and now actually flash, and let's hope that it will uh, uh, succeed. Alright, so it took a little while, but uh, it's finally done. And what you, need, what you need to do is to flash another file, which is the GApps. Again, just do the same thing. Alright, so it's finally done. And uh, one other step you need to take is again to wipe the catch. Right, you need to wipe the catch, and then you can actually reboot the system. And uh, here it will prompt you to install the official TWRP app. You can do that, or you can just ignore it. But I just kind of install it right, uh, for real. And now your phone is going to reboot into Lineage OS 15.1. Now keep in mind that uh, the first boot is going to be very, very long. So be patient and don't. Uh, uh, don't be, uh, don't go out of patience, don't lose your uh, nerve and say that it's boot, boot, boot looping. If it's taking more like 15 minutes to boot, then maybe it's boot looping. Uh, but if it's booting, like say 5 minutes or something like that, then uh, it should go in the OS pretty smoothly. So I'll be back when the phone is rebooted. Alright, so we have finally booted into Linux OS. So let me just check uh, what version that this thing is running. Uh, so I have been you know, playing around with it and it's actually pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it is on Android 8.1, Linux OS 15.1, as you can see. Uh, there's the Easter egg, Linux OS 15.1, on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. Uh, so I will do a little overview of this ROM uh, later. Uh, but for now, this is uh, how to install Linux OS 15.1 on the Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you like this video, click the like button down below. If you're interested um, in make in me making more videos, uh, please click the subscribe button for more future videos, and also click the bell icon to get notified every time uh, a new video is uploaded here. Um, anyways, thank you and goodbye.